Hey guys, welcome back to the homestead. It is very cold. It is actually currently snowing. We're expecting our third round of winter weather. I don't like the cold. But today's video is all about how I've built this fabulous milk stand that you see Brandy on. I like it. I like the tunnel product. So here's how I did it. So we wanted to use all found materials from here on the farm. So I have two pallets here, one Reagan found um, at a company that was giving them away and the other we paid $4 for. And so it was just getting them all ready. This one I'm working on here is gonna be the top and it was all solid already. So I didn't have to do any work other than just removing these back pieces and some nails. Worst part about working in someone else's shop, especially my husband's, is I have no idea where half his stuff is. I cut this pallet down in half to be the legs of the milk stand. We were going for very farm perfect, so these aren't cut exactly in half, but they were close enough that I could make it even all the way across. Fastened everything together with some screws. Make sure it's nice and strong and not going to fall apart on me. So here we're fashioning a 2x4 to the front of it to attach the head stanchion, which is what's going to hold the goat in place for me. And I actually was able to use two pallet runners that have the holes for where the, for the forklift would lift pallets up. They worked perfect without having to cut a hole or anything. We fastened one side so it will be stationary and never move. And the other one will swing to allow me to move the goat in and out and we used a lag bolt and some washers to do that.
this is a feeder that I already had in the barn but wasn't working for what I used it for. So I decided to use it for my milk stand. We used a scrap 2x6 to attach the feeder to. And then we attached the 2x6 to the stationary side of the head station. This is so the goats can happily munch on some grain and stuff while you're milking and keeps them a little more occupied. Well guys, when that video, we quit videoing, we actually had to lower our extension here, which is what holds her head while I milk and she can't really move too much away from me. So when I built it, it was five inches taller and I was having to like make her a little milk stool and that just wasn't working. So we lowered it five inches and it works a lot better now. <laughs> I really like how it ended up and it is nice and sturdy. I've Used it a lot and gonna continue to use it a lot. If you have any questions about how we did it or what we did, or if you have any suggestions, leave it in the comments. Be sure to like, subscribe so you don't miss another video. Now, I need to milk her before she finishes all her food. So we'll see you next time. Bye guys.